hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is beige if you are new here welcome today's video is going to be a tutorial on this wig that was sent to me from julia hair i'll have all of their information the promo codes and direct links down below in the description box along with my wig i received a wig cap a headscarf and a removable elastic band the wig that i received is a 24 inch body wave hd lace frontal wig the wig comes with three combs and an adjustable strap the hairline is pre-plucked, but the knots are not bleached. So the first thing that I ended up doing to this wig was bleaching the knots, and I did that off camera. I noticed that the frontal, the hairline is more of an arc shape, and my hairline is the opposite. It's more rounded. So I'm going to have to pluck away some of the hairline in the front to change the shape of the hairline to make it more round. I'm going to grab the end of a rat tail comb, and I am parting out the amount of hair that I want to tweeze away. And then I'm grabbing my tweezers, taking my time. I'm just going to tweeze away that extra hair. And this is going to create a new shape for the hairline. Even though the hairline has already been pre-plucked for us, I am going for an out of my face, half up, half down hairstyle. And because of that, I need the frontal to look as natural as possible. I'll be doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting to get rid of some of that extra density along the hairline, just so that we can have a realistic looking end result. I'm going to breeze through this step because I do do this method on the majority of my YouTube videos, but I do have full in-depth tutorials if you are new to my channel. So make sure you guys check out that playlist if you need help on this step. Okay, so now that I'm fully satisfied with how the hairline is looking, I'm going to move on to the next step, which is lightly blow drying this hair. The hair did get wet while I was tweezing the knots. I do lightly spray the hair with water just to make sure that I am getting an accurate depiction of how the final result will come out. So I'm just going to blow dry it before styling the hair. Okay, so now I'm just going to grab a light hair serum, apply it to the hair, and then in small sections, grabbing my flat iron, I'm going to flat iron through the hair to make it straight. Even though the final hairstyle will have curls, I want this hairstyle to be as sleek and polished as possible, and the only way that I can do that is with my flat iron and pressing comb. So this is a vital step before curling the hair and doing the ponytail. All right, so now I'm just gonna grab the wig, turn it inside out so that the under lace or under the frontal is exposed. I'm grabbing a lace tint. I'm using two different shades. I'm using one that is the color of my skin, which I am spraying along the hairline, and one that is the color of my scalp, which I'll be spraying along the rest of the frontal. I am doing two layers of each and blow drying in between each layer. And this is tinting the lace so that it is a perfect color match for my complexion, as well as prepping the wig for install. So in order to prep the wig for the ponytail, I'll be grabbing my wax stick, applying that to the hairline, and then using my pressing comb to make sure that all of the flyaways are fully smoothed and that the hairs are going in the direction of a ponytail so that it's fully prepped. So now that the wig is fully prepped, it's time to install it. I'll be grabbing 99% alcohol, cleaning off my forehead with that. And then I'll be picking up scalp protector from Walker Tape and applying that to my scalp. Next, I'll be grabbing the wig, placing it on my head, making sure that the ear tabs are lined up, all of the combs are lined up, and the wig is in its proper placement. 
grabbing a pair of scissors, I'll be cutting two slices on the extra lace, dividing the wig into three different sections. Grabbing got to be ultra glue gel in the black tube. I am applying a thin layer to my scalp, focusing on the middle section. I am going to blow dry that until it is tacky and then grabbing the extra lace, I'm pulling it forward and pressing it into my scalp using the back of a rat tail comb. I'm gonna follow those directions for the left and right sides of this wig and then I'm gonna put my headscarf on and allow it to set for about 15 to 20 minutes. Twenty minutes later, I'm going to remove my headscarf and just touch up any areas that need to be touched up that may be stuck together from the gel. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of water on any of the white areas and then I'm going to use my pressing comb to go over any section that may need a touch up. Grabbing a pair of scissors, it's now time to cut away that extra lace. I did the ponytail off camera, but I do have a few videos already posted on my channel with in-depth step-by-step instructions on how to get your hair like this. The next thing that I'm gonna do is basically take my curling iron and lightly curl this hair just to give it more of a wavy look. And here's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes and direct links to this wig down below in the description box. So don't forget to look down below for more information. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and turn on the post notification bell for my channel, as well as give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Is it too bright? Because I could not at all. It. I don't personally think it's too dark. I mean, too bright. Okay. It's really good. Okay, that's all I needed. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Ay, ay, ay.